Hong Ching Lu. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> he is working at the next day, but he's actually, and today he's going to talk about his new preprint on finite entropy vs finite energy. This is a joint work with Eleonora and Vincent Gage. Come on. Okay, great. Uh, thank you very much for uh, the invitation. So this is my first time uh, to make a, an online talk. Uh, okay, let me uh, the video. So this, this is a joint work with uh, Eleonora Dineza and Yang Song uh, Let me just post it on uh, an archive uh, this morning. Just let me move on to the introduction. <clears throat> so you, you, so can the full screen, you can take the full screen. So. Uh, sorry? Uh, so you can make the full screen of the FEMA. So. Uh, uh, it's a bit. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's sorry. Okay. I don't know how to. Okay. This doesn't work. Okay, okay. Uh, is it okay? Yes, yeah, 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 it's okay. Not so large, but it's, uh, let me put it out more. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what? <clears throat> so uh, the setting is that uh, we have a compact Kähler manifold of uh, complex dimension N. And omega is a Kähler metric, and uh, uh, the <coughs> the search for Kähler Einstein or canonical matrix uh, Kähler matrix on an X is uh, of uh, crucial importance uh, in the recent years. Uh, coming back to uh, Calabi's conjecture and Yao's solution in the 70s. Uh, so in the, the uh, variational approach, uh, one can uh, view these canonical matrix as um, certain critical points of uh, uh, functional, uh, functional energies. So in the kähler einstein case, uh, the kähler einstein matrix maximizes the Ding functional and in the ring functional, the, the, the leading term is the motion bear energy. Uh, for a constant scalar curvature Kähler matrix, uh, the, uh, the CSK matrix uh, can, can be seen as mini measure of uh, weak or strong mini measure of Mabuchi K energy. And the leader, leading term, the, the K, K energy, um, is sum of uh, Mount bear energy uh, and twisted with the uh, Ricci firm plus the leading term, uh, which is the entropy. Uh, the story of this work uh, started from the, the work of Berman Buxom, as it uh, gets in Zaria uh, in 2000, 2011, I think and was accepted uh, eight years uh, later, the first appearance on Akai, on, on Kren Zugo. And they, uh, they proved that if uh, the Mount uh measure of uh, uh, omega three subponent function is, uh, has finite entropy, then uh, this is in the, the function and the potential is in uh, the class E1. It has finite E1 energy And uh, uh, in their proof, is uh, they, they they don't have a sharp um, sharp index here, so uh, they, they 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 should have um, something better than E one. And we uh, we try to compute a few. Um, computable examples, uh, for example, radio singularities and uh, divisorial singularities. Mm -hmm. And we see that uh, in these ex examples, uh, we should have some, some EP with P greater than one, strictly greater than one. Uh, 
and this p depends on the dimension of uh, the uh, the manifold uh, n depend on n, and we confirm this in this uh, in our uh, work uh, that I'm talking today. The first theorem: if the motion bear a measure of u, uh, I will recall what 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 does it mean? Motion bear of u uh, with u is uh, with u in in the uh, uh, omega plus function. Uh, uh, full mass with full mass, but so that we can define this uh, properly. If this this guy has finite entropy, then uh, u will be in e p for uh, p uh, smaller than or equal to n over n minus one. So this is strictly greater than one, and you can see that when uh, when the dimension n is equal to one, uh, so then this one will be uh, plus infinity. So that's mean that uh, u uh, will uh, be in EP for any P. Uh, but we have more than this in the one dimensional case is very special. So the motion bear is just Laplace, which, uh, the Laplace, which is linear. And we, uh, we can prove in this case that uh, u is even continuous. Uh, not only uh, in EP for EP, so it's about it and it is continuous. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the, the the proof of this uh, theorem uh, relies on uh, uh, a, a version of. Um, uh, a, a variant of uh, the complex moser trudinger inequality. Uh, so the, the moser trudinger inequality is that uh, you have a certain, you, you can control the, the average of the uh, exponential of functions. If you can control uh, the mass of the Laplacian or the gradients or something like this. <coughs> And here, the, the analog, the complex analog is that we, we replace uh, the, the control on the derivative by the control on the energy. So the theorem is that if you have P uh, positive, <clears throat> and uh, uh, Q uh, is one plus P over N, then uh, you can find two positive constants, uh, small a and uh, big A. So that this is true for uh, every uh, u in EP, uh, with uh, supreme normalized by su uh, supreme over x is minus one. Mm -hmm. so, so the normalization is here is just uh, for convenience. Uh, of course, it's not true if you if you don't normalize because uh, because you can just take uh, u minus some constant c, then the energy uh, uh, will be raised to power p. Uh, here is this is raised to power q, which is uh, which a priori may which, which may be greater than than p. And we, we go uh, wrong. So um, we normalize this, uh, so that the supremum is minus one, or minus two, or minus three. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> but it needs to be normalized. <clears throat> so the, the case when p is uh, one, then q will be one plus was conjectured by Obang in uh, long ago, in 84. So the motivation of Oban in this in his paper is to solve the uh, the complex Moser equation, uh, which corresponds to the minus side on the right hand side. So, so it looks like motion bear of u is equal to exponential of minus some constant times u uh, times uh, smooth volume form. Uh, this is the the equa Kähler Einstein equation with uh, positive. Uh, uh, curvature. 
So, so you know that the, this this equation does not have solution in, in general, and he conjectured that if uh, he has if we have this uh, estimate true for for on u uh, with uh, p equal to one here, then uh, he will have a solution uh, for a certain constant on the right hand side. Then uh, 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 nearly 30 years later, Berman and uh, Benson uh, proved that this is true. And the, uh, the conjecture of Oban is true uh, under the assumption that uh, uh, the cohomology class of omega is uh, integral. That means uh, it comes from um, an amber holomorphic line bundle over X. Okay, so the, the goal uh, of the, uh, my talk today is to prove, first I will prove theorem B and then use, uh, I use theorem B to prove theorem A. So the proof of theorem A, even theorem B is very simple. Uh, it follows, for, uh, sim it simply follows from uh, an application of the whole young inequality. So we see, uh, so uh, let me uh, continue with um, uh, a few elementary backgrounds. <laughs> so recall that X is a, a compact Kähler manifold uh, and then normalize for convenience uh, omega so that the volume of omega, uh, integral of omega uh, to the n over x is one. And uh, a, a function uh, u from x to r uh, with uh, value minus infinity along, but not on a larger set. Uh, a, a function like this is called quasi uh, purely subharmonic following the may. If uh, uh, locally, you can write u as a smooth function plus a, a local purely subharmonic function. And uh, u is on omega purely subharmonic. If uh, first it is quasi purely subharmonic and uh, secondly, uh, the current omega plus dbc u is uh, somewhat positive. Uh, of course, the function minus infinity identically over x uh, by, by con convention, it is uh, omega very subharmonic. But for, I will rule out this function. I will not consider this minus infinity just for notation. So I, I, I let uh, PSS x omega denote a set of all uh, integral uh, omega basis functions. But I just rule out the throw away the, the function which is identically minus infinity. Uh, so let's now de define the, the complex motion bear measure of u. So if u is smooth, then omega u to the n is just the, the wash product uh, n times of omega plus ddc u. And omega plus ddc u is just a positive one one form. And then you take the n uh, product, uh, the, the wash product n times of it with itself you will get a, you know, an n form, an n form. So this is volume form on x, positive volume form on x. Hmm. If uh, u is bounded, then uh, uh, the definition is more uh, complicated. And it, it is uh, the definition of Bedford and Taylor. So you, you define this um, as a measure by, by induction. And so you first define omega plus dvc u. It is a, a positive current, so it is positive distribution. Uh, so again, it can be written as um, uh, so. So it has uh, uh, measure coefficients, and you multiply it by u. You get another um, uh, distribution, and you take dvc uh, and, and u omega plus dvc watch this. And you do approximation, prove that the, this is again positive and close, and then you repeat the, the procedure. 
uh, you will get uh, at the end you will get uh, positive measure uh, positive positive random measure and if u is bounded then by stock u uh, and by the definition you can prove that uh, the uh, the total mass uh, total mass of um, the Mongean bell of u is uh, the same as the, the total uh, as the volume of omega so I, I normalize omega so that this is one uh, therefore this one is also one uh, for unbounded uh, omega to the subharmonic functions, uh, it's known that uh, we cannot uh, define uh, the Mongean Bay measure in, uh, in a naive way. Uh, so there are examples uh, due to several that uh, there are some uh, some omega to the subharmonic functions in the local case. There's some previous opponent functions, uh, which is uh, which is unbounded, uh, and if you define the motion pair measure in an AFY, then it will not be it will have uh, infinite uh, local mass, so it is not a measure. <coughs> so uh, the, the 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 problem here is that is the is on the pluripolar set. So to get rid of this one possible uh, definition is to throw away uh, the pluripolar set u equal to minus infinity. So you, you you approximate u, the function u by max of u and minus t. So u is omega plurisubharmonic and minus t is also. You take the maximum of them, you get this, again uh, omega plurisubharmonic function. And, uh, and you can define uh, this guy is a positive measure by Bedford and Taylor. And if you if you look uh, at uh, the limit of this measure, then it's, it will not converge in, in general. But if you uh, cut out only the the part where u is uh, is uh, is bounded, u is greater than minus t then uh, you can prove that this sequence measure conversions, but even more than that, the, the, the limit is increasing. So uh, this sequence in T is in increasing, and you see that by stock, this guy, uh, the mass of this guy is smaller than one, and you cut it out, so the mass of the, the whole thing here is smaller than, than one. Uh, and, and you can take the limit. So you can take the limit when t goes to plus infinity to get a, a positive uh, measure. And this uh, mass can be one, can be strictly smaller than one, and can also be zero. And we say that u is uh, in the finite, in the, in the full mass class e, beautiful e, if uh, the mass of the motion by measure of u is one. So there is no loss of mass here. <clears throat> Example of functions in E, uh, uh, there are many examples of this, and it's very easy to construct functions in E. Uh, so first of all, functions in E can be unbounded in a very large set, uh, in a in uh, in the pluripolar set, but uh, it can be uh, there's uh, uh, on X. <clears throat> so an uh, uh, an easy example uh, uh, of uh, of uh, uh, an omega pluripolar function with full mass, which is non, which is not bounded, is that you take uh, any uh, omega pluripolar function phi. And then you look at minus of minus phi to some power uh, smaller than one greater than zero. And this will be in the class E, it is unbounded. as the same minus infinity locus, minus infinity locus is phi. And and you can prove even more that this uh, construction gives some function in, in the class EP for some uh, P greater than one. 
So here, uh, u is in EP, or P is greater than one, or than zero. If uh, first of all, u is in the full mass class, and uh, u is in uh, LP uh, with respect to the measure of, the motion by measure of u. So the integral of x of u to the power p times uh, motion by of u uh, is finite. Okay. Uh, so let's move on to the entropy. So if I have two... Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I have one, one, uh, I have one question. Uh, so, uh, so, could you, uh, so, uh, so could you, so could you repeat uh, your, uh, so could you repeat uh, your example uh, for you, yes, ye and uh, and uh, which is not uh, and uh, which is not a smooth. Uh, so could Just you start you... All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so could you your, 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 so could you your, your Peter your example? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so. Yeah. Uh, so here. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> so I take uh, any five. Uh, uh, omega presupponic, omega p sus, unbounded, and divide u equal to minus. Uh, so, so let me find smaller than minus one, minus five. Let's say r for uh, okay. zero smaller than r and smaller than one. Okay, I see. I see. And, uh, and uh, u will be in e. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, u is unbounded. So, for example, uh, if for, for its the log number is equals to zero, then all this kind of uh, PS functions uh, it should. If it's zero, then this is just minus one. Yeah. 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 If, if r is one, then this is just phi, so it's not uh, in e anymore. If when you take phi, uh, singular uh, is uh, log. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so for example, uh, so if for PSH function phi, if it's the long number uh, equals to zero everywhere, say in this case, it will of finite. Uh, uh, no, no, no. There is example of uh, functions like this. Uh -huh. but, uh, zero the long number everywhere, but uh, it's not in E. There is some loss of mass. Uh, okay. okay, thank you. Thank you for your question. Uh, so uh, maybe one more characterization of uh, uh, function in E is that uh, you take the envelope of uh, Wittnerstrom, uh, Ross and Wittnerstrom style, a kite uh, of a function in E, and you get zero. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is not, uh, it is a bit uh, off topic here. So let, uh, let me not go in, uh, into details of this part. So let, let me uh, move on to the entropy. So if I have two, probably, uh, two probability measures, mu and mu, I define the uh, uh, relative entropy of uh, the second measure with respect to the first one to be uh, in first uh, if uh, this the first the, the second one is absolutely continuous with respect to the first one and I will have a density f uh, then I define uh, the entropy is just the integral of f log f so uh, log of mu uh, over mu times uh, yeah, is the mu, is f uh, the mu. And I define the, 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 the relative uh, entropy to be plus infinity if uh, the second one is not absolutely continuous with respect to the first one. And uh, a very well known uh, um, property of the entropy is that the entropy of uh, mu with respect to mu is a supremum of over on continuous function on x. Uh, integral of u d mu minus integral of x e to the uh, exponential of u e mu. 
and from this you can see that uh, this one the, the entropy is low semi continuous because uh, h uh, or x is compact and u is continuous and this uh, this we have conversions if mu g convert uh, mu g conversion to mu in the weak sense of measure and here is you also have continuous function here uh, exponential of continuous function <clears throat> so uh, uh, h u for h u continuous in x this one is a linear is linear continuous linear function so in fact the supremum it will be allowed in my continuous and with respect to the weak topology of measures you fix it, uh, one of the measure then it is allowed in my continuous with respect to the, the other one right <clears throat> Uh, and on uh, on x I uh, denote uh, e and t just for convenience that e and t x omega to be the set of all uh, omega theories of common functions so that the entropy is finite. So in particular, uh, a function omega plus s in, in entropy in finite entropy a class uh, should have should ha should have uh, a density. So we have at least uh, in one density, but uh, we, we ask more. So that f, if the density is f, then the integral of f of f should be finite. Mm. Of, of course, you can, uh, in the context of this work, you can also consider uh, more general entropy, more general uh, integral like f instead of asking f log f uh, the integral of f log f to be finite you can ask uh, the integral of f times log f to the power to some power to be uh, uh, finite so let's uh, 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 do some computations uh, through easy examples so first, I uh, I consider a very a very easy uh, case where we can compute. And there are many cases we cannot compute. So at a taxi and a, uh, a chart in P n, and the Fubini study metric is E D C of log one plus Z two square Z square. And maybe there's there is some normalization here, but uh, let's uh, don't care about this. Uh, and then uh, I take um, a convex uh, weight, a convex weight here, composed with the log of z, and I compute uh, the motion bear of this uh, this guy, and to to see uh, in which uh, energy uh, class uh, you uh, should belong to, if we assume that you has finite entropy. And so, in order to have a function which is, which is defined on Pn, you have uh, I make some artificial um, uh, construction here, but it, it does not uh, affect any anything. Uh, so the, when you when you compute the, the motion pair of uh, this u, the, the, and to decide whether it is in finite entropy or finite energy, the the place where you need to focus is near zero. So uh, I define a phi in this way and extend it in, in a proper way so that uh, we have uh, omega p has function on p n, which is smooth outside the bond, the unit bond, and in the unit bond it is like u, it's, it's, this is like some some uh, convex weight uh, composed with uh, log of z. And uh, let me compute. Uh, uh, the, the motion bear first DDC of u, and uh, you will have something like key prime uh, m of uh, z t DDC u plus key two prime uh, d, d u plus d c u. Uh, so you have something and you, when you rise to the power n. The second part, the the part with the uh, the second derivative. Uh, if you you take power two, it will, it will be zero because it's this. Uh, this du was dcu. If you take du was dcu and you take power two, it will be zero. So, uh, and on the uh, the other part, you take to the power n, it is just log, so it will be also zero outside zero. So, 
so the Mong Jambe will be something like uh, the first derivative to power n minus one times the second derivative to power n to uh, compose with n uh, with, with log and divide by uh, z2 uh, power to n. <clears throat> then uh, you uh, consider the entropy of uh, this measure with respect to omega n. So this is just uh, the integral of this guy times the uh, log of this. So what, here is something like log, uh, and here is uh, again log, and this is z. When you take log of uh, the whole thing, the, uh, the dominant term will be uh, log of z, which is, uh, which is on the denominator. And then uh, you have finite entropy if uh, uh, and you make a, a chance of variable. So here you, t you define t to be log of the z. Uh, then you have the, uh, that uh, the entropy is finite if the integral from minus infinity to some, some, some negative constant uh, here. Uh, it, it, it does not mat matter what we take here. We can, we can take minus one or minus two. Uh, so the, the entropy is finite if this integral is finite. Uh, and you take uh, the EP energy. So EP is just, uh, EP of U is just integral of U to power P uh, with respect um, against uh, the motion by measure of phi. <clears throat> Uh, so phi here it has uh, finite p energy if uh, you have k of t to the power p times uh, k prime to the power n minus one to k to the prime uh, of t. Uh, the integral of the whole thing here is finite. Mm. Now uh, take k uh, very special of a uh, very special uh, uh, type. So key, t, key of t is minus, minus t to the power alpha for some alpha uh, from zero to one. And then phi is in EP, if and only if, so you uh, replace key t to be uh, t to the power alpha. So here you have, we have t to the power alpha p, and here key prime will be alpha minus one here. So n times alpha minus one, and key to prime, uh, so n minus one times n alpha minus one, and key two prime will be alpha minus two, and you sum uh, up, you will get n times alpha minus one, and then minus one one more time, and this is finite if and only if uh, you can compute it explicitly, and you get alpha smaller than n over n plus p. And uh, we come back to, to the finite entropy case. So uh, finite entropy means minus t here, key prime of t to n minus one and key two prime of t, fi uh, the integral is finite. Then uh, the, the computation will show that uh, uh, motion by f5 has finite entropy if and only if the integral of minus t to power n times alpha minus one is finite. So it is, uh, it, uh, is the case exactly when alpha is smaller than n minus one over n. So if p is greater than n over n minus one, then you can choose uh, uh, alpha between n minus one over n and n over n plus p, so that it will have finite entropy, but it will not have finite energy, uh, EP. But uh, in the computation here, we, we see that uh, the finite entropy condition implies that you have uh, finite energy uh, EP with P smaller than uh, N uh, over N minus one. And it also shows that the uh, exponent N over N minus one is sharp. <clears throat> okay, uh, how about uh, divisory? divisorial uh, singularities. So this, the second case uh, is, is when you have uh, 
a, di a smooth divisor on x and and you consider phi to be the convex weight uh, composed with lower lower rate of s uh, of the uh, uh, here you here we fix a Hermitian measure a Hermitian metric on the Lie bundle uh, associated to 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 the division D uh, S uh, and uh, phi is key composed with log S and you compute the uh, motion by phi is key prime times the DC o'clock which is just zero uh, which is smooth um, uh, and then you have key two prime times uh, ds uh, uh, wash dcs uh, and this is the, the the only single singular term which uh, remains in the computation of the motion bear, measure of phi and phi will be uh, a finite entropy if uh, this guy uh, integral the integral of this guy times log of it is finite but log of this, uh, you will have just log s, so it is minus t here. And key prime of t, and minus t, key prime of t uh, is finite. The integral of this is finite. So then you, you take, uh, you, you do uh, some integration by part, you will see that uh, this one is finite exactly when uh, and chi of at minus infinity is finite. That, that means that phi is bounded. So, uh, the the divisor the divisor the divisorial case uh, the, in the divisorial uh, the divisorial case as uh, you will not have any singular uh, unbounded uh, omega Curie Pauli function if the entropy is finite and this also suggests that in so the the, the divisor case uh, looks very looks like very similar to the first the the the, the the one dimensional case. Uh, so it suggest, suggests that you have um, uh, about the uh, uh, potential if the, the entropy is finite. Uh, so next I will uh, show that if you have a finite entropy, then the average, the mean value, uh, the functional mean, the mean value functional against the measure measure of phi is uh, continuous with respect to the in topology. So uh, it is uh, a, a warm up exercise uh, by using how the young inequality. So if you have a, a sequence uh, of omega to the subhandle function uh, conversion then one to, to u, and then you want to prove that uh, mm, and this one converges to zero. So that means that the, fu the function noise is continuous with respect to the N1 topology. So this is omega to the n, uh, omega to the n. And you use holder young, so you have um, uh, F uh, uh, x times y will be smaller than key uh, x plus key star of y. The key and key star uh, conjugate to each other. So here you I take uh, a convex function which is x plus one times log of x plus one, and the conjugate is exponential minus uh, x minus one. <clears throat> and this one is smaller than this plus this. Uh, if I take p, if I take p small enough then I will have that this converge in N1 to uh, use uh, this one, I will have conversion in N1. So I can uh, extract a subsequence so that the uh, whole thing will be dominated by, uh, this, this guy will be dom dominated by, by some function in N1 and I apply the dominated conversion theorem to prove that this one is, uh, this one converges to zero. To zero. So the, the uh, N1, the, uh, the finite entropy condition implies that uh, the, the mean value functional is, uh, I think this, this one also has the name type like uh, super potential by uh, Dimensiboni. 
and this is continuous with respect to the n1 topology. And in the, uh, the one-dimensional case, if n is 1, then the continuity of n mu of this, uh, this um, mapping is equivalent to uh, phi p in continuous. So this is just a, an, an exercise uh, in one-dimensional case. <clears throat> uh, the, the, the main point of the, the one-dimensional case is that the motion bear equation can be, it's just a Laplace equation and you can solve it by, the, uh, you can solve uh, the equation for any, any positive measure, not only non pluripolar but uh, even pluripolar measure. So you can take the direct measure and you solve the Laplace equation and, and you prove that the, the the function is continuous. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so I uh, so I have uh, one question. Uh, so why f is finite? Uh, so so uh, so you want to prove that it's continuous? Uh, so in this case, it seems that uh, we need to have uh, f is finite. Uh, so uh, if uh, if it has a finite entropy, it implies that at f is finite. If f has finite entropy, uh, then you, then you will have uh, about of uh, of this integral. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you may set us. Uh, so you may set us. So for the red red side of it, uh, it's the integral uh, of the function. Um, so my point is that this one will converge it. In N one, if you have p is small enough, okay. right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we set uh, so for the right hand side, uh, it uh, should be the integral uh, of the function in the right hand side, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, right. so let me remove this uh, integral. Okay. Of sorry. Yeah. So uh, sorry, I understand. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. So there is yeah. no integral here. So okay, yeah. I, I bow this one by the first term plus the second term. Uh, yeah. And for P is more enough, this one will converge in, in, in M1. So I can extract a subsequence of uh, UJ so that um, this sequence will be bounded by some function in N1. And this one is also a function in N1 because F has finite entropy. So that mean okay. that you have a, um, a N1 uh, a bound of this sequence by a function in N1. And you have that this converts to zero it's almost everywhere. So you can use dominated conversion theorem to prove continuity. Thank you very much, uh, Julian. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the, 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 core, the core of uh, the proof of uh, uh, our main region is uh, uh, the quasi three subharmonic envelopes. <clears throat> So given a smooth function f, uh, or continuous, or um, anyway, you know, any, any measurable function that you can define properly, uh, the envelope. Uh, so p of f, is just p omega of f, is the largest omega the function lying below f. Uh, so Berman and the May uh, proved uh, long ago that uh, on the contact set, uh, uh, pf equal to f, we have that omega plus ddcf is uh, is semi-positive, and you have this uh, identity of the motion measure. So um, the, the proof of Berman and Demey in, uh, in the paper on 2002 need to be uh, need some careful revision. But Berman has uh, proposed um, uh, an alternative PDF proof by using his uh, beta conversions method. So, so he solved the equation uh, for each f. Uh, so this, uh, the right hand side is uh, uh, measure with LP density or bounded density for each beta. And he solved a motion by u beta to the end equal to this. And he let beta to go to, inf go to infinity plus infinity, and he recover the envelope of f, uh, and along with uh, very useful 
uniform Laplacian estimates uh, so that he proved that the envelope has a uh, bounded Laplacian. And his proof has been used by many uh, others to prove uh, C11 regularity of uh, the envelopes in geodesic and solutions to regenerate, regenerate complex motion bay equation on manifolds with boundary and so on. So this is uh, his, uh, his foundation new paper with a lot uh, inter of interesting applications, important applications. Uh, so we will use, uh, use this uh, characterization and uh, the fact that this one is uh, positive is not uh, uh, a big uh, issue. Uh, it's very, it's a very uh, elementary fact. So uh, just the maximum principle, you can think that the PF, uh, when PF is uh, touch, touches F, that means uh, that, uh, but, uh, motion, but omega plus DDC of PF, of course, this is positive. So omega plus DDCF is also positive because on on the, the contact set, omega uh, DDCF is greater than DDC of PF. Okay, let's uh, now go to the proof of theorem P. Uh, so uh, I fix uh, P uh, greater than zero, and I denote Q to be one plus P over N. And we want to prove that for smooth, uh, for U, U in EP, but uh, I can do approximation and I uh, use Fatou's lemma to pass to the limit. So I can assume here that U is smooth and the, the supremum of U is minus one. And I want to prove that this, uh, this one is supported uh, uh, by a uniform constant A. Uh, so my naive, uh, very naive idea is that I look at the, this guy is uh, is uh, uh, omega plus one function, uh, and I have uh, the interiorability index, a small interiorability in index which depends on omega and on the next. So that uh, yeah. So I have I have uh, two constant c small c zero and big c zero. So that. Uh, uh, with uh, so that for all uh, omega uh, pluris subponent function psi with uh, supremum equal to zero, I have this one is smaller than C0. So this is a uh, uniform version of Skoda's theorem, mm -hmm. uh, which was proved uh, by, by Zeriahi or Tian uh, uh, 20 years ago. <coughs> Uh, yes, but the, the problem here is that, uh, my problem here is that this function is uh, no longer uh, omega pluris of public. Uh, if Q is greater than one, if Q is one is okay. If Q is smaller than one is okay. But Q is smaller than one means that P is negative, which is not the case. And Q is one is, which means P equals zero. So it's not interesting any, at all. So the, mm, the the important case is that uh, Q is uh, very large. So when Q is large, this this one is no longer. This is just a constant. But U to to the power of Q with Q greater than one will not be omega very subharmonic. And the idea is to, is that is to take the envelope. So uh, when you have something is which is not uh, omega very subharmonic, but which is uh, interesting. And you take the envelope. You take the envelope of uh, fine. Of course, uh, here I uh, I secure my argument by saying that U is smooth. Otherwise, I can take the envelope, and then you say that this is minus infinity everywhere, and they stop my argument because uh, I will not get anything else. <laughs> uh, so phi here, uh, I. I multiply it by a, a constant gamma that we will uh, determine later. Uh, gamma is a, a positive constant, which may be very small. And V is the envelope of uh, omega basis envelope of phi. And D uh, will be the contact set, the set where V is equal to phi. Then uh, we do a very 
careful computation. So first, I attack DDC of five here. Uh, then I, I will have DDC of five. We have uh, gamma type Q times DDC and, and, and U to pi power Q minus one DDC U. And then I will have minus gamma uh, Q times Q minus one uh, times DU plus DC U times the uh, minus U to power Q minus two. But uh, all these things, the U minus the C U is positive, and you have a minus sign uh, uh, in front of it, so it will be negative. So I have omega plus the is smaller than this one. Okay, and then I, I take the power n, but uh, need, I need to be careful because uh, uh, I don't know that uh, whether it is positive or not, but. Uh, Berman and Demay uh, told me that this is positive on the contact set. So omega plus the DC of, uh, of phi is positive, semi-positive on the set D where V is equal to phi. Right. So on this set, I will have zero is smaller than omega phi and omega phi is smaller than gamma Q times U to power uh, Q minus one times omega U. Uh, but uh, here I I need this one to be greater than one so that I, I can bound omega by gamma times q times u to the power q minus one times omega because if I don't do that uh, then I will have some mix Laplace uh, some mix uh, has some term here I don't know how to control them so let, Right. <clears throat> the, in fact, I can control the mixed term, mixed Hessian term by, uh, by comparison principle. Uh, but here, uh, I need to make the, the argument a bit simpler by only uh, look, looking at the, this uh, level set. So on this level set, uh, in the uh, intersect, intersect with the, the, the uh, contact set, I have that omega phi is uh, so semi-positive and dominated by this guy. Then uh, I take the power n, uh, take function by v. On this set, I know uh, by Berman and the MAE that uh, this one is uh, supported on, on d. So this is just uh, the function by on d of omega phi to the n. So I have equality here, but uh, I, I met inequality. And here, uh, again, uh, I replace, uh, because because this one is, uh, is positive, and it can rise to the power n, I get omega phi to the n is smaller than, uh, is smaller than this one, uh, gamma to the n, q to the n, and u to the n, q minus one. Q minus one times n is just p because p is one plus q over oh no q is one plus p over n, so so this one is just p omega u to the n. So you recognize that this one when you integrate it, you you get the the energy. <clears throat> okay, uh, so uh, let go back to the the sub level the the level sub level set. Uh, so I have V uh, is equal to phi on D. And on D, uh, and, and phi is just uh, minus gamma times minus U to the power Q. So this set is the same as this set on D. When I take the inter intersection with D, uh, if I have U to power uh, Q minus one, so right, and minus one, and one here, then I will have V greater than, than this one. So I just raise the power Q and then I, 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 put, uh, I put gamma and Q on the right hand side and I, I get this one. So I, I, will, I will set this constant by, by B, by small b. So this set is the same as this. Uh, and I have on uh, the integral of omega V to the end on the set where V is smaller than minus P is smaller than gamma to the n times q to the n times this one 
times the, the energy, the P, the P energy of U. Uh, so if I choose a gamma to be uh, two to the power one minus, minus one over N times Q times EP uh, U to power to the power minus, minus one over N, then I will have that the the mass of motion of V uh, on the set where V is smaller than minus P is smaller than one over two. Uh, this one is smaller than one over two. Is is just one over two. This one, but the, I normalize omega so that the volume of omega is one. So that uh, this set uh, is not x. If it is x, then by stock formula, by stock theorem, you will have that the, the mass of omega v to the n over x because v is just is bounded. Is bounded, so the mass will be one. But it is not the case because uh, you have the bound here. The mass of this one is smaller than one half. So you have sub uh, primum of v over x is greater than minus v, right? So now re I recall uh, the uh, integrability index uh, proof, uh, the uniform version of Skoda theorem proof the uh, Qian in area here. I apply this formula to function psi, which is v, uh, v plus, mm, so this is v plus b. So v plus b will, will have supremum uh, equal to zero on x, and v is omega plus harmonic. So I have this, integral is smaller than c0. And now the very simple uh, uh, comparison is that phi is, phi is the envelope of, no, V is the envelope of phi. So phi is greater than V. Uh, so minus phi is smaller than minus V. So I have that, I'm sorry, this one is smaller than C0. So I somehow have the about on, I nearly finished because I have about on, on A5, but uh, minus some, some, some constant here. To, uh, I have about on this, but I need about on exponential of uh, A5 and not uh, a5 minus something. So I, I will just uh, divide the set on the two set. <clears throat> in, in one hand on, on the set where phi is very negative, um, I will have that a5, uh, exponents of a5 will be smaller than 2a, times uh, absolute value of phi minus b, uh, because phi is smaller than 2 phi minus b. And for this, uh, if I chose uh, uh, A to be C0 over two, and this is just C0, and this one is just phi minus phi minus B. So I have this is smaller than C0. And outside of this set, I will have that the, I will have that the absolute value of phi is smaller than two B, two, two B, uh, which is, uh, this constant, and then mm, I will have uh, I, so I recall here that uh, uh, phi is uh, minus u uh, is minus gamma to minus u to power q, and so I I have gamma times q u to power power q minus one will be smaller than and two. So this is just a, a, a computation, uh, <clears throat> uh, just elementary computation, uh, which is important if you make a mistake here and we'll be wrong later. <laughs> uh, then uh, on, on x minus f, I will have an exponent of a phi, uh, it's just exponent of a gamma u to power q minus one and u. Remember that phi is gamma, Times u to the power q, and this guy is uh, is is smaller than two, so I will have c zero u again. So I remove, uh, I take away, I throw away this this part because I don't know whether uh, exponential of uh, u to the power q is uh, uniformly integrable. But uh, on on this set, this is smaller than two, and I throw away this, and I get uh, u here again. I have uh, 
and it will normalize so that this guy has uh, supremum equal to zero. So this is e to c0 times uh, big C0. So on f, I have this. On x minus f, I have this. So I have a uniform constant. Depends only on small c0 and big c0. And the constant a here depends on, on q and uh, on the dimension. a here, uh, what is a? So a is c0 over 2 and phi is gamma. Uh, phi is gamma times u. So I have u divided by the energy of u to power 1 over n. Okay, so it is the proof of theorem B. Any questions so far? Okay, uh, so let's now uh, prove theorem A by a very uh, easy application of the, uh, the holder yaw inequality. So if uh, I take the, I consider the convex function Kt, uh, which is t plus one times a log of t plus one on, on a plus uh, mm, zero plus infinity, and k star is conjugate. So I have k star of s is uh, supremum of t s uh, minus k of t. Uh, so I computed the derivative. Uh, to see, uh, to compute the, uh, the critical value uh, where the, the function obtains its maximum. And then I, I see that uh, this supremum is e to the s to power s minus s minus one. So I have st, so this one is smaller than e to power s. So s times t is smaller by definition, uh, key t plus key star of s. So I applied this uh, inequality, how the your inequality to so this and, and this, and we have that a times u to power p divided by e p u to power one over n times, times f. And this is smaller than exponential of um, the whole thing here, plus f plus one times log f plus one, integrate over x. And we have that this one is uniformly bounded, right? Um, by theorem b, by the Moser or Trudinger inequality. And the second term is bounded to be is finite because f has finite entropy. So then, I, but when I integrate, I will have the energy here, and on the denominator, I also have the energy, but to the to the power to a power smaller than one, one over n. So then I, I move it on divide it and have e p of u to the power one minus one over n smaller than some constant depending on the, en the entropy. So the energy will be bounded in terms of the entropy by uniform constant depending on the entropy here. So I have that, uh, so the, the, the main point here is if you take, is that if you take P to be N over N minus one, then Q, the, the exponent Q is also P. So Q is equal to P in this case. And then you will have, mm, you can apply uh, the theorem with Q here, but Q is P. Uh, and then, then you, when you take the integral, you get the same thing on the, uh, the numerator and on the denominator with the and this exponent smaller than one. So that is, uh, that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for the talk. And now it's time for questions and remarks. Uh, I, I, Ching, I, I have a question. Hello, Suwan. Yeah, uh, so uh, for the uniform uh, SCOTA, uh, SCOTA theorem, uh, uh, can you go to the uniform SCOTA theorem? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Yep. Do you think it's possible? To, uh, uh, I think it's, uh, so. Here, the constants uh, small c zero and capital c zero. Uh, uh, in general, they should depend. Uh, they should depend on psi. Yes. No, no. They, here, they, oh. small c zero only depends on the cohomology co class of omega and x. Okay, oh, so you consider all psi in a fixed, so it, uh, yeah. it means only depend on capital omega, only depend on calorimetric omega. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. 
but uh, do you think it's possible to find the estimate for the constants here, the small c0 and capital C0? Uh, this is uh, uh, an interesting question. Um, I think this is related to the alpha invariant of Tian. Uh -huh. uh, in some example, in some example, in, for example, on Pn, you can compute it uh, explicitly. Uh, if you take omega to be the uh, Fubini study metric, then you can compute C. This is one C0 explicitly dependent on N. And in many other examples, there, there are many papers on, on the Tian's and phi invariant. Mm. And it, it is related, related, it is exactly the, the C0 here. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I have a question. Since in this paper, what you have proved is actually that the finite entropy space is a subspace of E n over n minus one. I'm wondering if I have a kind of converse. I mean, can you characterize the subspace? Uh, say, if you are given a potential in E n over n minus one, do you have some kind of conditions that can guarantee that entropy is finite? Uh, can you repeat uh, the last part of your question? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if we if we have a potential in e n over n minus one, then can we have some some kind of conditions on the potential itself, so ah. that uh, so that guarantees that the, the entropy is finite. Ah yeah 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 you're right. Uh, so the, the re so here I, I, I say that uh, we study the relation between finite entropy and finite energy, but we mm -hmm. only mentioned the first one implication, and mm -hmm. the other implication is very uh, is terribly wrong. <laughs> because if you if you want to have finite entropy, then you need uh, to have um, a density. But you have mm -hmm. an order function with finite uh, energy, but uh, no, but they don't have any. They don't have density. So yeah, yeah, you, you can take you can take a maximum of log e and, and minus one, and you will have some function bounded some bounded function. So it belongs to any finite energy class. But uh, it does not have an, any uh, density. Uh, the measure can be um, can ha has uh, some part on on the on the, the unit sphere. Uh, so it has not. It does not have density. Yeah, yeah. I know that in general it should be false, but I'm just wondering if there are some kind of conditions like the finite energy condition or some better energy. Uh -huh. so that that can guarantee this kind of things. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see. I see your question. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know any such condition. Okay, never mind. I guess that should be a very hard problem. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, I have uh, one question about your CRMP. Uh, so, in this case, uh, uh, could you? Uh, uh, so, uh, so I don't know if we, if we could expect a, a local version of CRMP. Uh, I mean that. Uh, uh, so for. Some local version, uh, so for example, X uh, yeah, in the same, uh, some small open set, uh, um, and that's, uh, and that, uh, but, uh, you mean a local version of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you can replace X by, um, by some uh, hyperconvex domain, about the hyperconvex domain, and you replace this energy by a sequence type energy, you will have the same same kind of, of uh, inequality, and we, okay. we also treated this uh, this question in in the paper on Akka this morning. Okay, I I see, I see, I see. but I, I didn't prepare to talk. I think one hour is enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but we have a, a similar a similar estimation uh, with yeah. optimal. Optimal mm -hmm. constant A here uh, for okay. when P equal to one, but for P is greater than one, uh, mm -hmm. we don't know whether our constant is optimal. Okay, so in this case, uh, so it means that uh, we have also uh, 
uniform control uh, of this one for some small a and, and some big a. Yeah. This a we have uh, we 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 can choose a depending on on q on n uh -huh. uh, and on the interiority index um, uh, c zero. Uh -huh. uh, we don't know whether it is optimal. Maybe uh -huh. it can be improved. I mm -hmm. think it's not optimal because we on the way proving this we. Uh, we we have thrown uh, throw away uh, many interesting things. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Uh, some other questions or remarks? Uh, hello, I have a question. Uh, Hi. Do you have uh, some uh, characterization of a uh, finite entropy function? Mm, characterization of finite entropy. Entropy function. Uh, I think it's the same question. What's the function uh, is finite entropy? Uh, no zero in the definite. So, so you mean uh, conditions uh, which guarantee that uh, omega 3 subatomic function has finite entropy? Hello. Uh, I mean, if I have a function, uh, how to, uh, how to, uh, uh, so, uh, the, the, the function, uh, when, when the function is a finite entropy? Uh, so you, the only way I know to, to decide whether this has finite entropy is that I compute the motion bear and I take the integral of f of f if this is finite and this is finite entropy. I don't uh, know other characterization. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, okay, thanks. Other questions or remarks? Okay, if there are no more questions, then let's thank the speaker again. Thank you very much, Shane. Thank for you. Good luck.